Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Hi. <laughs> I'm just, I'm using a different camera today. So, yeah, hi. I wanted to do a quick video showing you um, pieces that I've picked up recently. Um, I wanted to update my wardrobe with some things. Um, I've been going to, uh, since Fashion Week, um, going to a lot more um, events and things like that in the evenings or during the day. Actually, the day of filming this, I have a fashion show to go to at five o'clock. So, yeah, so I've just been needing to just update my wardrobe and get some pieces in. So I wanted to show you what I've got, not necessarily for that, but just in general, some things that I've had my eye on. And I've picked up, this is a mixture of uh, high street, um designer luxury as well as uh, black designer and yeah anyway i'm just gonna get stuck in with the first one which is this pants these pants that i'm wearing i'll show you everything as well in the cutaways it's my zip up it is now I'm wearing this i love this it is a black faux leather croc effect because when you come up close you can actually see the little croc, croc design on it just all over and it's very subtle but it's got like a nice balloon cut. It really nips you in at the waist. I guess the size, I think this was the only size I had left. I got it on Shopbot. The brand is Awake and the size was perfect. And this was the only size that was left. So I took it and I think it's great. I'll show you how it looks in the cutaways on me, but I just love that cut. And I love this kind of like high shine, kind of like vinyl look to it. So it's really nice, easy piece to wear. It's funny because today it's actually gonna rain. So this is a perfect thing to wear. I'm going to a meeting at one o'clock. So that's what I'm talking about. Things like this, I need to have some, just some new directional pieces in. And these are what this video is. Picked it up on sale. Amazing, I've already worn this already. I went for a dinner with some friends and I wore this and it was great. Ah, what do I show you next? Okay, let me just show you the next one, hold on. And another pair of trousers I got. This is a bit trouser heavy, bottom heavy, this haul, because um, I wanted to get, um, I have a lot of like vintage, well, about three maybe, vintage men's trousers, which I love, but I wanted to get something that, A, I wanted some different colors, but B, I actually wanted to get ones that actually already fit properly really well here, because even if I had the waist taken in with the trousers that I have, the bottoms aren't sort of sitting right for the shoes that I have. So I just decided, let me just get some new trousers so I can just like implement, so I can just add them to ones I've already got. So um, these I love. These are by the Frankie shop and I have a couple of trousers by them and they're actually, this size is too big and I'm actually trying to just, um, because they didn't have the size smaller because I needed a medium and this is a, this is a large and this is the only one that they had. And I love this one, it's like a pinstripe. And so I, so I got it, but I've got it with the intentions of taking it in, sod it. I'm not going to try and pin it because I'm going to hurt myself. So I'm going to undo the pin <laughs> so you can see how it properly looked. So this is it completely. I'm wearing a bralette underneath, so I'm, I'm decent. I'm decent, people, I'm decent. But these are um, the pants, so you can properly see them. You'll see them in the cutaways, but I love them. It's just the colour, the pinstripe just everything about them that the pockets it just is such a it's such a good fit like i said before they're a little bit too big for me um but i mean i could get away with this side this size is just sitting lower than i want it to it looks much better and you'll see i have this in a lighter color and the lighter color is a size smaller so i'll show you how that fits but it fits the way i want these to fit so i'll just take this to the tailor and just have them taken in so it fits more like more like that like this higher waist and that way it just lets this whole silhouette just fall properly and not pull at the bottom of my ankle too much uh it has a matching um blazer and i was almost going to get it because it looks cool together but i didn't like the quality of the blazer compared to the trouser the blazer for me um the it just didn't have the karen vibe of being more exaggerated and larger and it was only one size and i didn't like that one size i would wanted it at least a couple of sizes up these look so good just with like some simple slides just simple thong sandals and you just wear like a bralette top a crop top a pair of sunglasses it's just effortlessly chic this kind of look to me so oh so good hold on let me just try on the size down okay so oh my god the camera's so wonky i'm so sorry <laughs> Oh shit, this is so bad. Wait, wait, this thing out. You might be thinking, what are you talking about? It looks fine, Karen. All right, so this is the lighter pair in a size down. Let me bring this down a bit so you can see properly. Slightly. Anyway, so this is the um, 
the size down in it. It's like a kind of uh, beige color. These are called the Tansy by the Frankie Shop because uh, I know they have like, God, they have loads of different trousers on there and they've all got like their different style names, but this one and the pinstripe one as well. So I got it in like this light beige color, which I think is really nice for um, spring. Shirts I pick up from vintage and thrift shops, but this is the medium on me, same kind of cut, but um, a size down. Ditto for exactly how to style these as well. Love. All right, hold on, let me show you the next. What am I gonna show you next? Um, actually, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I know, let me show you, hold on. <laughs> the next pieces that I got are black owned designers. Um, actually, this one is by Tanika, the YouTuber, hi. Um, she did uh, her first collection with Amazon The Drop and I jumped on getting this um, orange blouse that she has. It also goes like on the shoulder like that but it's like puff sleeves, you can put it where you want because it's elasticated. Got that. And then the other piece I got is by a brand called, a black owned brand called Hanifa. I recently found them and I love these um, rigid jeans. I think they're so cool. Uh, Claire Summers, who owns um, Fashion Bomb Daily, she has a store online where she promotes a lot of black designers. And I went on there and I found this particular one and love the pieces in fact i say pieces because i got three things um so these jeans they're high-waisted they are a little bit big on me um but i love the quality of these jeans it's absolutely sick um it's like a dark nice dark rinse it's the drama at the bottom of them they're ultra wide leg and it's the ultra high cuff and that's why i like them so much um i may get them um give them to a tailor because of this Sorry, I know this is taggy. I haven't worn this because the weather's not warm enough yet. But this is just a little bit much. I might have them just take it in so it fits like, you know, just right. Apart from that, these are sick, that contrasting stitch. And again, it's the quality of the actual denim. It's, it's nice and thick. But when I go to the tailor, because these are slightly too long for me as well, I'll probably um, have that adjusted so that it still has the big cuff, but it sits properly so it doesn't puddle at my feet the way it is at the moment. Because they don't have any more sizes than these, I don't think, at least at the time of making this video. So definitely check, I'll leave the link in the description. If you do get anything from them, they run true to slightly big. They're very generous with their sizing. I'm a US 6 slash 8. I feel like I'm sort of crossing between either of those sizes. And I got a size medium in everything from Hanifa. It all runs a little bit big. Wow. This is the other piece that I got from Hanifa. It is a one-legged dress, cotton, long sleeves. You, you can see what it's doing here. It's insane. And I'm just wearing it. I'll show you properly in the cutaways. I am wearing it with a pair of my own jeans, which is really just the way I like to show it worn. It's so dramatic, right? It's, it's but you know, I, I just feel like I, I will have an occasion to wear this. I will make sure that there are occasions to wear it. And I like the fact that even though I'm wearing it with denim, I could wear any colored pant to kind of complement it. It's one of those because it's white, which is a neutral. I got a size medium and again, it is a little bit um, on the larger size. The skirt part at the front is longer than the back. So you'll see again on the screen here. So I would just have that tailored so it fits right. But my goodness, how sick is this? Okay, I made it a little bit darker. Yeah, that's much better. So you can now, you can see the details of this, but look how, this is so good. I'm in love with this. It's such a special piece. Uh, but then again, you know, I wish the shoulder, there's a shoulder pad here. I wish it was sitting like there versus like that. So again, I think this is things I can go to a tailor. They can adjust it so it sits properly here. Just little, little tweaks like that. But apart from that, I think it's gonna look really good. Um, and as well as the bottom, I want to get that hemmed up. But a piece like this is so special that I think that it's worth making that, um, that investment and just making those teeny weeny little changes. There isn't another size on this on the website, at least at the time of recording. It's so good, I can't wait. It's like, when am I gonna wear this? I'm gonna wear this for some kind of special things. I don't care what it is and I'll always change the back. By the way, you can wear it without a trouser. If you really want to just have some strategically placed uh, body tape so nothing, you know, nothing moves. Oh my God, wow, wow. It's so good. Yeah, I think, yeah, I really like, I think if I could just, like I said, 
get it slightly tailored here to move hopefully they can take this off and just move that up i just don't want to screw it up myself take it up a little bit and think yeah and then we'll be golden so another piece that i got is this statement trench coat and it is by mugler now if you saw my paris youtube video from november i think that's when i posted it yeah it's the first time i went to paris last year um we went to michael and i from october into november and whilst i was there i went to a concept shop called Grey greyhound in Le Marais and I love it if you ever there check it out I love concept shops because they kind of remind me of it's very like contemporary everything in there is really contemporary it kind of has Margiela vibes that I like um it's actually actually I don't think I've shown them on here speaking of Margiela I do have a couple of things to show you but back to this um, I was there and in the vlog I show you this trench coat by Mugler that I just fell in love with and I show you it you'll see I'll leave the video oh my god I'm running out of battery Ugh. hold on hold on okay better battery and we can keep going oops so yeah so I love that trench coat and it is a trench coat so much that I just never forgot it and I showed you in that vlog if you've not seen that vlog I'll leave a link for it below because a lot of you have loved that vlog and I loved it too in fact <laughs> is that the one that brought us to tears. There is a vlog that I did with, um, cause we went in October and then we went again in December for Christmas. And I think it is actually that one. Anyway, that watch that video afterwards. It's, it's a very fuzzy feel good vlog if I do say so myself. So I never forgot this Mugler trench that was there. It's stunning. I, I knew from the moment that I saw it in November but I knew from the moment I saw it in the concept shop how much I loved it. Um, hold on. But, so I got this at Nordstrom, on Nordstrom, on the website. But, guess what? Guess what Nordstrom left attached to the coat? Guess what is, guess what is on this coat right now? And I have to now bring myself somewhere and get this security tag taken off. Yeah, look. Can you believe it? I, I've never, this is the first time in my life that I've ordered something from anywhere and they ship it to me with a tag attached. I, I'm in shock. I just can't, I can't. I was, I actually got on the phone and told them and they're like, oh, we're sorry. Just gotta go to a store. This is the trench and I just, it's just the cutaways of it. I feel like you could almost, I don't know if you could, depending on where the cutaways are, you could almost wear it like a dress. It's just stunning. I, I cannot get over how gorgeous it is. Um, never forgot it from when i saw it in paris so this is it i love trench coats anyway but this is oh god this is so good it's so it's so good it's so good and it's beautifully beautifully made so i'm really happy that i i got it again gotta take this off <laughs> but apart from that i'll just come in here so you can see a little bit closer the details of it it's incredible it's one of those pieces that stayed on my mind and I knew that if I didn't cave and get it I think it would have been the one that got away where I just was like Karen you should have maybe considered it I mean obviously this is clothing you don't have to get anything just got to take the bloody security tag off now I'm going to leave the link below like I said of the Paris video where I first saw this let me show you the next thing <laughs> another piece I got from Hanifa is this stunning orange off the shoulder two piece um, it is, I'll show you in a cutaway so you can see the proper colour because it's a little blown out here on screen. I was going to some special event. I know, I'm imagining special events. I'm, I'm manifesting them to come into my life. It's got a separate piece here for the leg, a little bit of leg action. So it's actually a two four because you've got like this part here, sorry. You've got like the pant here and then you've got this piece that you can wear over the top. What I like about this is the fact that you can um wear any kind of this came with it it's like a whole two piece but you could wear any color here even like do you know what i mean this is my skirt there is a lot of it so i love the idea of having like this um pant here so it's really different a little hole here for your hand um, and you can obviously hold something right there oh so that's the other piece i got from them and i i love it look it's coming out way blown out than it is in person. In, in person, it's like almost like a neon 
but deep orange. I'm really into orange at the moment and I, this is such a good, I love this. And the pants are really nice all by themselves. Again, I got this in a size medium. This was on sale on their website and I think it was about two for it, one something. I think it was one something, like 180 or something. Um, but yeah, again, I'll leave the, the, a link to them at the bottom. So let me know if you check them out. But I also got a couple of tops from Zara. Uh, this is one of them. It is basically a cropped top with strings because it's like a halter neck that ties here. And I'm showing it to you with this Frankie Shop uh, really bright Kermit the Frog green coat that I got from them. Um, I have had my eye on this coat for a few weeks and I caved and got it. Um, there's also something really special that I got in that same Kelly green color and i'm going to show you that in a separate video giant peak lapels i thought was so cool and i love the way the sleeve because i have really long arms so it's nice when i can get that experience of having this look of having something that just covers my hands which i love um, they speak to how i'm feeling at the moment which is wearing very simple very oversized um basic things cozy um not too much going on something that's very long as well so getting that was literally filling a hole in my wardrobe. So I'm really glad to have got that and I hit the ground running. Shoes. So I'm gonna start with what's here and they are both by Margiela. I went to an event with uh, Maison Margiela and it was a collaboration with Reebok and they, they very kindly gifted me these incredible trainers. There you go. Oh, and this shows the coat much better too. This is the actual tabbies that I got, cutaways as you can see, um, and it's got that signature tabby toe, perforated front, these are very comfortable. I got them in a 41 and I'm not usually a 41 and the 41 fits me absolutely fine, so I'm really glad that I have these. Um, yeah, they're great and I wore them to the event um, on Instagram stories, you saw me when I was about to leave. Then whilst I was at the event, I picked up these, hold on, for a, a few years. And I was always like, I'm an Ari. Why is this at an angle? I'm so sorry. And then whilst I was at the event, I caved and I got the tabby leather boots and I got them in a very wearable height, this round, round heel. Um, really makes them very comfortable the soft leather as well very comfortable um like i said a thousand times uh if you want socks for them then you get the tabby socks but these are great i've already worn these as well when i've gone out and it's great because i'm always in um you know very chunky kind of boots so i needed something that was just a simple uh heel but cool right and these for me are, and again, I know a lot of you are probably gonna hate you are gonna hate these. I know, I just know you're gonna hate these. They're so good. I really love these. Um, I like the height of them. I like that it just has that really tight shaft. So yeah, there is those. Sh sticking with shoes, I'm gonna talk very briefly about the Valentino uh, platform shoes, the ones that you saw me wear on Instagram uh, at home. I have returned them. I decided that it was just too much. I'll show you on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. I just couldn't get on with them. They just weren't, they were, I was like, I was scobsmacked by them. And I thought, oh my God, they're cool, right? They're cool, I don't know, but they're so high. Oh, uh. And I got them. I thought the only way to, to, to scratch that itch is to get them and have them in my hand, try them on, you know what I mean? And I wrestled, I ummed and ahed on my Instagram stories. Should I keep them? Should I not? Uh, you know, that kind of thing. And then I ended up just um, letting them go because they i just don't feel they're not me enough first off and i always say that on your channel on my channel plus i just for that height that extreme height the design is not me i don't think they're a karen enough shoe don't worry i love a good platform like my stella mccartney boots that kind of stuff but i like it in that form not in that form with the valentino shoes so those have gone back um but I'll leave a link for them below because I know they're like hotcakes and very difficult to get. But that is it. That is my lot. Those are the things that I've picked up. Is it recording? Give this video a thumbs up if you saw pieces that you personally think, you know what, I wouldn't mind trying that myself. Welcome, if you are subscribing 
thank you and welcome um i post videos once every week every single friday if this is your first time seeing me here why am i saying this back to front this should be at the beginning of the video but sorry if you've got this far you are a true fan um you can follow me as always on my instagram same name and tiktok i keep my name the same everywhere karen britchick i post on there way more than i do once a week here tiktok i'm on there every day instagram like every other day so you can follow up and get your karen fix over on those two channels anyway i'm done i'll see you next time